Right now at 10, a Monroe County career criminal is accused in a reckless homicide. He's now bound over for trial. And the Onalaska Police Department receives a new canine unit thanks to community fundraising efforts. Plus, the Nature Place unveiling a new art exhibit. You're watching WKBT Lacrosse. This is News 8 Now at 10. Good evening, everyone, and thanks for joining us for News 8 Now at 10. I'm Ken Kozarowski. And I'm Emily Brown. The Sparta man accused of giving a woman drugs that led to her death is bound over for trial. 52-year-old Timothy Burns is charged with first-degree reckless homicide, delivering narcotics, and theft from a person or corpse. Now, according to the criminal complaint, Burns told an associate that he gave the victim heroin, and when she appeared to have overdosed, he attempted CPR. About a half hour later, Burns called 911, took the victim's phone, and threw it in a river. Police later arrested Burns after his associate came forward. He is currently held on a $100,000 cash bond. The Eau Claire business owner accused of sexual assault and taking inappropriate pictures of clients is pleading not guilty. 40-year-old Christopher Devlin is facing one count of second-degree sexual assault, three counts of fourth-degree sexual assault, and two counts of capturing an intimate representation without consent. Today, he pled not guilty on all counts. Multiple victims have reported that Devlin sexually assaulted or took inappropriate pictures of them while completing cosmetic procedures at his Eau Claire business, Renew Aesthetics. Now, if convicted, Devlin faces a maximum maximum of nearly 50 years in jail. He will be back in court on July 15th. Authorities in Juneau County were the victims of a swatting call last Saturday. The sheriff's office says it got a call at about 11 o'clock Saturday night about a man saying he had killed his mother and was leaving the residence. The man who identified himself as Jesse gave authorities an address for a home in the Clearfield Township. After making contact with people at the address, law enforcement determined the call was a hoax. Swatting calls are a form of criminal harassment that are designed to cause a major major tactical response and they can prove deadly. A Juneau County Sheriff's deputy experienced this danger firsthand in this incident. They were involved in a single vehicle crash while responding to that swatting call. They also had to be treated at the hospital. That swatting call and car crash are under investigation. The Dodge County Sheriff's Office has arrested the warden and eight staffers at Waupun Correctional Institution. Warden Randall Hepp is charged with misconduct in public office. The other eight face felony inmate abuse charges. Waupun Correctional has been at the center of scandal for quite some time. Four inmates have died in the past year. Three of them are subject to federal lawsuits. Federal investigators have been looking into a suspected smuggling ring involving prison employees since March. In a press conference today, the Dodge County Sheriff says the prison is being operated recklessly. Lack of accountability really falls to making sure that your staff know what they're doing. Making, again, making sure they're trained, making sure they're following policies and procedures. And when they're not ensuring that they are, trained on what to do. In a press release today, Governor Evers urged the Dodge County Sheriff's Office to keep its investigation open. He says in part, quote, each and every person who's failed to do their job to the high level that we expect or treat people in our care with dignity, humanity and respect they deserve should be held accountable to the fullest extent of the law. It's that simple. There must be accountability and justice, end quote. If convicted, Hep faces up to three and a half years in prison. A bridge near West Salem is closed for a replacement project. The La Crosse County Highway Department says contractors have moved up the schedule for a bridge replacement on County Highway M just north of West Salem. Work on the project is expected to last through October, so the public should use posted detour routes during this stretch. Well, lovely day for the most part, but we did have a string of uh, storms come through here, mm -hmm. bringing about some wind. Uh, give us the update on that, Greg. Yeah, we had kind of a squall line. It really was a squall of showers, not too much thunderstorms, but we had some gusty winds. I had a history of producing winds about 50 miles per hour, and it came through and produced a gust at the airport at 58. It continues to push through. You can see there in the time lapse. It came through fairly quickly, just a brief rain, but the winds gust up pretty quickly, and now it's kind of pushed off to the east. So those white boxes right there are for special weather statements. It's really for the 
the winds that are just around that 50 mile per hour mark. Not quite severe, but this line has history. It has weakened as it pushes south, which we expected. Overall, there's more activity to the north. It'll continue, but the big story is a lot of this will begin to decrease for mainly most of the areas with a little bit extending past to about midnight and then thereafter clearing skies and temperatures will fall back in the 40s. So in all in all, a pretty quiet night once we get past this activity, but going in tomorrow, we're going to have a little bit of a different story as we got the wind coming along with it, some cooler air coming and maybe a shower and uh, I'll break down how cool it's going to actually be. It's not definitely not going to feel like June or even May. <laughs> uh, I'll explain that a bit later in the broadcast. All right. Thank you, Greg. Well, the Onalaska Police Department is celebrating the newest addition to its ranks tonight. News 8 Now's Jeremy Wall joins us with the latest. Jeremy. Yeah, Ken and Emily, last year Onalaska Police asked for the public's help to raise money for a second canine unit, and the community came through with over $100,000. Tonight, donors who made it possible are meeting the new canine. There's another furry friend tackling crime in Onalaska. His name, Canine Connor. Started probably about a year and a half ago when our department decided we, we needed another dog. We found out what we needed. We built built up to it. Tonight, many folks are meeting him for the first time at a department fundraiser. Money for Connor came from the White family who lost their son Corey in January 2023. They felt inspired to donate because of Corey's connection to animals. They had reached out and it was perfect timing because we had identified we were trying to raise money for this canine. So they donated uh, enough money to purchase and send the officer for this training for the canine. The White family donated $15,000 to the canine program. Community donations overall reached $120,000, which the department has used for a new canine vehicle and equipment. Connor is a dual purpose canine, detecting drugs and doing article search, and he's already making a difference. He was part of a search for some people that fled from a traffic stop from the state patrol and uh, Officer Zumach and Kenai Connor were able to successfully track that person hiding in a creek bed and, uh, and located for that person to be apprehended. Yep. Officer Zumach and Connor have known each other since yeah, February. They oh, trained in Michigan for six bad. weeks. Since then, their relationship has evolved. We grew then. We had our down, our lows. We had our highs. It's that's what it is in canine training. Some days are great. Some days aren't so good. You learn every day. And both canines work different shifts. According to Ashbeck, they work two thirds of the day. Ken and Emily. All right. Thank you, Jeremy. Well, a grant is bringing a new environmental education space to the La Crosse area. Clearwater Farm in Onalaska was awarded a grant through the La Crosse Community Foundation. The grant is helping develop a new wetland habitat space to educate people on native gardening, water conservation, and highlighting the role of wetlands in climate resilience. The La Crosse Community Foundation says expanding natural habitats in the area play a major role in the community's well-being. It's a privilege to be able to live in an area where there are um, robust and healthy outdoor spaces and we know how much uh, positive impact that can have on a person's mental health, on their physical health, and so it's really important to us to have spaces like this. The new space is already open to members of Clearwater Farm. People are welcome to experience it for free during their open barn days. We'll have that schedule on our digital platforms. The gallery at the Nature Place is celebrating their sixth art display featuring works by artist Dougley, Douglas Bosley. In theme with the Nature Place, Bosley's art showcases various plants and animals, including different kinds of fungi, flowers, and foliage. Print and copper plating are his main mediums. Bosley says his art is inspired by plants' interactions with nature that some people may not consider. Plants in particular, I think, are really cool. Most people are, get really into animals, but plants have these huge, incredible, um, really complicated lives and interactions with all kinds of fungi and bacteria that um, a lot of people take for granted, most people don't know about. And I think if you look at it, it's, it's really, really cool. Bosley's art will be in the gallery until the last week of September. We'll have the business hours and a link to his artwork posted on our digital platforms. Invasive carp have long been plaguing the waters of the Mississippi River. The latest plans on solving the issue when we come back. I always knew that I wanted to be a mom and choosing that it was the right time was just a really exciting moment. It 
turned out that my baby had a diagnosis that would be incompatible with life. It wasn't just that my baby wasn't going to survive, but I was at risk for hemorrhaging when I delivered. I met with my doctor and we went over the risks and benefits. I made a really informed decision, just like you would for any other procedure you're going to have. I'm a nurse and I'm an example of a woman who had to have a procedure to be able to save my life and to not watch my baby die. And now Donald Trump supports laws that could take that procedure away across this country. 54 years they were trying to get Roe v. Wade terminated and I did it. Without that procedure, I would not have been able to get pregnant again. But the good news is a year later, I had my son. If Trump gets elected again, I fear for women. ABPAC is responsible for the content of this ad. It took 34 years to change this place from worn out to wonderful, slow and steady to keep overhead low. The same slow, steady growth has grown us to the best team of home improvement professionals in the region, over 80 today. Voted best of lacrosse because of exceptional quality and unexpected low prices. Whatever your next project, contact us today for a prompt free estimate. You have a problem, we have the solution. Better than you imagined for less than you expected. Contact the board store today. Invasive carp have been threatening the Mississippi River for years. Now, new legislation authored in Minnesota is making a step towards addressing the issue. News 8 Now's Michael Germain has the details. The Minnesota legislature approved $12 million to install invasive carp deterrents at Lock and Dam 5 in the Mississippi River just north of Winona. Their efforts are aimed at four species brought to the U.S. in the 1970s to control algae blooms. Now, authorities say they need some control of their own. Silver, bighead, grass, and black carp, four species of invasive carp making their way up the Mississippi. And we now have um, some of these species now present here in Wisconsin and Minnesota. The problem is that they compete for food with native fish. So this can cause our native fish species to decline in health and abundance. The Minnesota legislature passed funding to install a deterrent downstream at Lock and Dam 5, just north of Winona, that will emit a signal or combinations of light, sound, and bubbles that invasive carp don't like. Hopefully impede them from continuing to expand upstream into places where we don't want these species to be. Lock and Dam 5, they say, is the perfect location. A deterrent placed at Lock and Dam 5 can be very uh, effective. Except when the water is high and the gates are open. You no, know a deterrent is not going to be 100% effective. It's not a silver bullet for carp control, but it's something that helps us keep fish downstream so that they can be removed at a pace that's reasonable for, um, for us. Installation is set to begin in 2029, so don't expect to see changes too soon. All right, thank you, Michael. The La Crosse Public Library now has some new funding. The latest grant is set to help recently released inmates. Details when we come back. Definitely going to be windy and cool. Even cloudy conditions going to feel more like maybe late April, or early May tomorrow. I'll break down how cool those temperatures will be and what Friday also looks like. That coming up on your first morning weather update after the break. Welcome to Wesco. Welcome to huge selection and savings. We're celebrating June Dairy Month here at Wesco in Sparta. Have you thanked a farmer today? Take up to 25% off in select departments store wide all month long. Plus, get free ice cream with every purchase. Buy a sofa, get free ice cream. Buy a fridge, get free ice cream. Buy some flooring, get free ice cream. Did I mention free ice cream with every purchase? Wesco in Sparta, where white glove delivery and setup are always free. Tell them Peyton sent you. Every day, we get to know more about California multimillionaire Eric Hovde, a CEO whose bank makes millions at our seniors' expense. Hovde's bank even owns a nursing home being sued for elder abuse and wrongful death. No wonder Hovde said most seniors shouldn't vote. Listen, 
if you're in a nursing home, you only have five, six month life expectancy. Almost nobody in a nursing home is in a point to vote. Eric Hovde, a California CEO we can't trust to look out for our families. Win Senate is responsible for the content of this ad. Sunken or uneven concrete only worsens with time. Due to changing seasons, stress on the slab, or poorly compacted soil, thankfully, American Waterworks offers proven, warranted solutions. Typically less expensive than full replacement and more efficient and lightweight than mud jacking, our methods are designed to last. After all, your sunken concrete won't get better with time, but it will with our modern solutions. Choose confidence, choose reliability, choose American Waterworks. Actually, it's a piggy bank. My inspiration to start saving. How about a more solid way to save? I'm listening. Well, BMO helps get your savings habit into shape with a cash reward every month you save. Cash, cash reward? And there's a cash bonus when you open a new checking account to get you started. Wow. Anything you can't do? Mugs. Clear Choice Window and Home Solutions, your choice for quality, affordable windows, installed by our experienced team. Contact us or stop into our showroom today for your free estimate. Thank you for watching News 8 Now. Expect more. The La Crosse Public Library is receiving a $10,000 grant from the American Library Association. The funds will be used to better serve recently incarcerated individuals. Now, the La Crosse Public Library has had a relationship with the La Crosse County Jail for over two years now. The library hosting weekly classes at the jail for things like education and emotional development. The new grant will help continue that connection after inmates are released from jail and allow them full access to the services the library offers. Regardless of of who you are, every single person in our community is equally deserving of full access to library services. So it's really kind of our commitment and responsibility to show up for every single person. The money will also be used to help released individuals find employment and continue education with materials like GED prep books. The library has partnered with Western Technical College's Project Proven program for students attending the school after being released. Now we saw some storm-like conditions come in around the 840 right. mark tonight in downtown La Crosse, and some of these conditions forcing some Excel Energy power outages around the middle of the city and the north side. Let's get the latest on the conditions from our chief meteorologist, Greg Barnhart. Yeah, we definitely had some stronger winds with it. It's the amount of cold air that's going to be coming with the system, and if you look at the pattern right now, minus... Forget the, the headline up there because that's the wrong headline. It won't be a mild weekend compared to where we should be. But the flow right now, you've heard about the west heating up. It's because the jet has gone to the north and now it's sliding to the northwest to southeast. We are going to be in a cool pattern and we just had a taste of it this evening with some systems coming through. It's going to continue like this through the weekend. So that's going to keep us fairly cool in the low 70s. Fairly dry, although we can see weak systems come through through the weekend through early next week. But we're definitely not going to see any warm or humid conditions. That's going to be out west where they're going to be through a pretty decent heat wave going on right now. We might see some changes with that according to the later half of next weekend, but definitely not anytime soon. So tomorrow, windy, cool showers. It'll feel like the end of April, early May with those temperatures, the cloud cover, and maybe a shower. Not as bad on Friday, still not quite where we should be for temperature wise and we even have a chance for some showers late Friday night very light amounts really nothing to be really expected with that but we still that's the next precipitation chance here's all the showers this is one line that continues to weaken as it pushes eastward that's the one that came through lacrosse had a history of producing around 50 mile per hour wind gusts more activity up to the north probably going to touch eau claire as it weakens so we're going to see that at least for the next couple hours but eventually Everyone will kind of quiet down probably after midnight. Just some clouds out there, but mostly clear skies throughout the rest of the night. Temperatures dropping back in the 50s. Tomorrow, going to start off with sun, but that sun's not going to last very much longer, especially further north. Cloud cover quickly comes back in. Low clouds that will spread across the entire area, along with a few showers. This won't be strong thunderstorms, morely just showers or maybe some sprinkles, really, in the afternoon. Mainly 
Further north you go, better chance. Further south you go, less of that. But that'll continue through the afternoon. And look at these temperatures at 3 p.m. We're just barely hitting 70 in La Crosse. Lady Smith, you're struggling to get to 60, so that's giving you an idea how cooler this air mass is coming through. Eventually, we will see some of the cloud cover towards tomorrow evening start to kind of go away. We'll see clearing skies, but still, it's going to be kind of cold going into Friday, too. Now, the winds are the other story. We're probably going to see 20 to 25 miles per hour of the west-northwest throughout the afternoon. As you go further west, higher elevations, ridge lines, probably could you see some gusts near 40. So, combined with the wind and the cloud cover, that's what you're going to see with that conditions tomorrow. We will see some improvement, but still kind of a breezy Thursday evening too. So it's not going to be that pleasant as we go out to tomorrow. Good news is once we get back to Friday, the winds won't be as strong. We'll have more sun. And then here comes a system that's going to dive south. That's the one I mentioned providing maybe a few showers going into Friday night. Won't amount to much, but we'll see if that actually pans out. It could actually become just cloud cover, but that's our next chance of some light rain, just a shower. Probably by the time you wake up Saturday, it's all going to be gone by that time. But for tonight, we still got the showers come through. Most areas will remain dry more as you go further north, but everyone should be dry probably after midnight. As you wake up tomorrow, just some sun, but that won't last long. Clouds move in fairly quickly. Temperatures struggling to get up to 70 or even struggling to get up to 60 in some areas. Then as we go through Friday, we'll see a little bit better conditions. That shower chance Friday into early Saturday. Otherwise, another chance for a shower as another reinforcing cool air mass comes back on Sunday, which will give us our temperatures struggling to get to 70. So that's more like end of April, early May type yeah. temperatures yeah, where we should like be. It. But uh, if you want the heat, humidity, Wait go till down the end Florida. of next week. <laughs> well, you go to Southwest US right now or wait till next week and yeah. then we should see some warmer conditions. All right. Thanks a lot, mm -hmm. Greg. Coming up next in sports, the Brewers looking to avoid a three game sweep this afternoon out in Philly. Plus the loggers back at the lumber yard tonight beginning a set with Green Bay. Rob's got the action next. News 8 Now Sports is brought to you by Ho-Chunk Gaming Wisconsin with six locations of fun. Here at The Y, we offer more than just a job. We offer the chance to make a difference in a fun, flexible environment where our mission and core values drive every decision we make. Join us in this amazing work. For specific positions and details, visit our website. Every week it costs more to feed my family. Prices are just out of control. Boy, inflation is really hurting us. It's got to stop. Career politicians like Biden and Baldwin just don't get it. They're making things harder for folks here in Wisconsin. By stopping the crazy spending that caused inflation and cutting red tape, we can bring prices down. It's time for a change. I'm Eric Hovde. I approve this message. I'll get the job done for Wisconsin families. At River Valley Remodelers, we know that the bathroom is the most personal space in your house. That's why we don't come in with preconceived ideas or cookie cutter installs. We'll sit down and talk with you about your needs and dreams. Whether it's a tub or shower or an entire bathroom design, we'll take the time to talk with you and get things just the way you want it. For a limited time, get a free shower door or a color upgrade with your shower purchase. So let's talk about the most personal room in your house. River Valley Remodelers, improve your home, build our community. At Taco John's, we've got beef with other places that start with frozen beef. That's why we start with only 100% American never frozen beef simmered in our signature spice blend. Say no to thaw and yes to 100% American beef at Taco John's. This adorable shelter pet wants to meet you and your family today. The News 8 Now Pet of the Week is brought to you by Wisconsin Veterinary Orthopedics. Here at The Y, we offer more than just a job. Experience the personal satisfaction that comes from nurturing the potential of youth and teens, improving our community's health and well-being, and providing support to our neighbors. Join us in this amazing work. Covering all of the exciting action from your community, here's News 8 Now Sports. The loggers are off to a solid start so far this season. Lacrosse had its four-game win streak snapped back on Monday, but the boys are back home for the next two nights. They were looking for a win at the Lumberyard tonight. Loggers beginning a four-game set with Green Bay. The first two of those here in Lacrosse, and the home team not wasting any time. Bottom one, Luke Davis with a man on gives this one a ride to right for a two-run shot. Just like that, it's two nothing Loggers. Rockers respond though. Top two, Peyton Mansfield puts this one into the seats out in right center. 
Green Bay slices that deficit in half. It's two to one. Then in the third, Rockers struck right back. Jake Bold drills the base, hits a left. Green Bay plates three and takes a 4-2 lead. Bottom of the third, Loggers get one of those runs back. Matt Mira grounds one to short. R.J. Hamilton scores to make it 4-3. But Bold comes through for Green Bay once again in the fourth. He chops a slow roller to third. Great effort on the throw, but Bold beats it out. Rockers go back up by two. Until the bottom of the inning, bases loaded for the Loggers. Mira makes it happen. He drills one the other way. And that's going to be trouble. It rolls all the way to the wall. All three runs come in to score. Loggers go back in front six to five. This one's still going on. Loggers with a chance to walk it off in the bottom of the ninth. Brewers looking to avoid the sweep in Philly. The offense has been quiet all series. That continued in this one. Gary Sanchez gets robbed by Bryson Stott in the third. And in the fifth, Phillies finally break through thanks to Nick Castellanos. He gets a hold of one. The left center, and that's not coming back. Two-run shot makes it 2 nothing. Phils. Let's fast forward now to the seventh. Same score. Brewers looking to cut that deficit in half. Willie Adamas to third. Here comes Willie Contreras trying to score, but Alec Bohm guns him at the plate. That keeps Milwaukee off the board. And then it's Jose Alvarado shutting the door in the ninth. Brewers held to just two runs in the series as they get swept in Philly. 2 nothing. the final. The Crews road trip continues on Friday in Detroit. Twins in the Bronx looking to even up their series with the Yankees. Things not going well for Minnesota. Twins already down two early on. Glaber Torres doesn't even know this ball has a chance to drop. It does. Manny Margot can't make the play. A ground rule double scores two. Yankees up four. More than enough for Carlos Rodon. He was cruising in this one. And then in the fifth, Aaron Judge is going to blow this one wide open. Down the left field line. Takes a wild carom off the wall. And that is going to plate all three. Yankees extend their lead to seven. Twins drop another one, 9-5, the final. On the softball side in Minnesota, the Windhawks are still alive. A 6-1 win over Simley in the state quarterfinals. They'll take on defending state champ Mankato East in the semis tomorrow. What a special moment it was for three of our area teams on Tuesday. Logan Aquinas and Oliva Strum all punching their ticket to Appleton next week. Rangers are heading there for the first time in 17 years. Blue Golds make it back-to-back -back state trips. They'll look to get the job done next week. And how about those Cardinals for the first time in school history? Oliva Strum is state bound. Cardinals coming through in walk-off fashion against Royal. And check this out. In their first ever state tournament appearance, Oliva Strum drawing the top seed in D4. Cardinals will clash with Pacelli Tuesday morning following the first semifinal game. Oliva Strum looking to punch its ticket to the state championship. And in Div Division Three, Aquinas is back in Appleton for the second straight season. Blue Golds also drawing the number one seed. They'll take on Cumberland at about 5 p.m. on Tuesday. And in D2, the Cinderella story continues for the Rangers. Lacrosse Logan is back in the state tournament for the first time in 17 years. Rangers get the four seed. They'll take on Mosinee Wednesday morning for a chance at playing for a state title. Rangers won their last state championship back in 2001. That's going to do it for sports. We'll be right back. It's the summer sale at Home Furniture. Everything is on sale. Get up to 30% off regular prices. This Leslie sofa is just $9.99, and this Spindrift dining set is $12.99. Get savings throughout the showroom during the summer sale at Home Furniture. It's hard to explain what this feels like. Moving piles of earth, towing up to 4,000 pounds, cutting millions of blades of grass. We could keep trying to put it into words, but nothing compares to experiencing it for yourself. You just have to get in the seat. Conquer every task on your list. Visit Tractor Central, take a seat, and see for yourself why nothing runs like a deer. Start now at TractorCentral.com. Here's to the farm and fleet dads, the ones who work hard and get the job done right, the ones who take pride in what they do and take the time to pass it on. This Father's Day, get your dad a gift he'll love. Like men's Carhartt Force Gear, 25% off. A 43-piece Milwaukee Impact Socket Set, $109.99. Plus, buy this Stanley Toolbox for just $9.99 and fill it up with 25% off these Stanley Hand Tools. Find value at Blue's Farm and Fleet. 
Hey, polling fans, ground-pounding horsepower returns to Recreation Park June 20th, 21st, and 22nd for the 49th Annual Budweiser Dairyland Super Nationals. Toma welcomes the National Tractor Pullers Association for three days of action-packed polling on two tracks for five sessions of high-horsepower Grand National Truck and Tractor Polling. Tickets and more information available at TomaTractorPull.com. Again, go to TomaTractorPull.com for all the information you need. June 20th through 22nd, it's the Budweiser Dairyland Super Nationals Recreation Park, Toma, Wisconsin. Be there. As your local Touchstone Energy Cooperative, we wear many hats. We take pride in serving our members and our community by going the extra mile in everything we do. Because we not only work here, we live here. Touchstone Energy Cooperatives, your source for power and information. Right now at Home Sleep Express, get up to $1,200 off Beautyrest Black adjustable sets. Pay no interest for three years and get a free gas grill, plus free white glove delivery. The Beautyrest Black Mattress event, going on for a limited time, now at Home Sleep Express. You expect more, so thank you for watching News 8 Now. Well, these stakes are high for the Eau Claire Police Department. As they are trying to identify the brisket bandit. Yeah, on Friday, the police department shared some footage of a man sneaking into a family's backyard on the north side of Eau Claire and stealing brisket they were smoking overnight. According to the Post, the suspect entered the victim's backyard, licked their fingers, and made a clean getaway with 12 pounds of smoked deliciousness. So if you recognize the brisket bandit, you can contact the Eau Claire non-emergency line at the number on your screen. You can also submit a tip to Crime Stoppers. It must have smelled quite scrumptious, and he was probably very hungry. I'm not justifying <laughs> that behavior. Yeah, but you probably the aromas think in the air ravenous. just compelled him. He couldn't he couldn't help himself. Yeah, but, uh, I mean a good brisket does go far in this world. Right, right, <laughs> guys, keep an out, uh, keep an eye out for him. He's running around Oakland. No yeah, I know, but you got you feel for the family because a good p bit of meat for brisket. It, yeah, it it's expensive. It costs a pretty penny. Oh yeah, definitely. <laughs> All right, well hopefully hopefully we'll catch him soon. That's right. All right, Greg, we'll have one final look at your forecast when we come back. Stories are told on our Instagram at WKBT News 8. Or you can always find us at News8000.com. Ashley Stars and Stripes sale is going on now. Don't miss these furniture hot buys, now only $7.99. Plus pay 0% interest for five years with no minimum purchase in-store only. Only at Ashley. Shop more deals in-store and online. Reed and Chelsea along with you. And you're like, man, what a shame it all. And I said, Chelsea, it's summer though. <laughs> And you can agree to do things when they get to you first. Like in February, when you're shack wacky, you're like, absolutely, we'll go do that. And now, and oh. then you get to July, and you're like, I wish we had a break. <laughs> I wish we had a weekend that we had I a need break. A moment. We don't live in a state I or know. an area where you have nine months of the year. No. It's what you get with it. There's a beauty to it, though, Rain. One of those days? Yeah, one of those days. We're here to make your day brighter. Q Ultra's A Plus accounts, turning bad days into A Plus days. Say hello to convenience and security with online and mobile banking, contactless debit cards, and mobile wallet. Plus, better rates, no minimum balance, and no fees. Make every day an A Plus day. Open your account online today or stop by your local Ultra office. Ultra Federal Credit Union, helping you live your best life, one stress free day at a time. How much was I paying a month for insulin? $185. $300. $400. I never expected anyone to do something about it. But then Tammy Baldwin did. She stood up to the drug companies and wrote a law capping the cost of insulin. Thanks to Tammy, now it just costs $35 a month. She made a huge difference for so many of us. She lifted a weight off all our shoulders. I'm Tammy Baldwin, and I approve this message. 
Ashley's Stars and Stripes mattress sale is going on now. Don't miss these mattress hot buys, now only $7.99. And get a free adjustable base upgrade with an Align by Ashley Sleep mattress purchase. Only at Ashley. Shop more deals in-store and online. Before Greg's last look here, this is a live look at the intersection of Park and Troy in Onalaska, a mobile home park currently without power as a result of tonight's weather conditions. A tree has struck the roof of one of the mobile homes, and again, power out in that area. Uh, the La Crosse area around the middle of the city and the north side has been dealing with power outages over the last two hours. Excel Energy crew is working on that. But Greg, not a, not a huge deluge of storm-like conditions, uh, but a little bit of wind uh, yeah. definitely affecting some power lines. Yeah, it was a squall line that we call the squall because there wasn't much thunder uh, lightning actually with it. It was just rain that came through with the gusty winds and they had a, a wind gust of 58 at the airport. So the good news is that is pretty much over with, but mm -hmm. we do have windy conditions tomorrow. Much cooler conditions yeah. too. We're looking at 60s maybe up north, maybe 70 here if we're lucky. And speaking of cool, cool, cool way Talk to end tonight. Cool. A little walk off grand salami from Luke Davis, <laughs> yeah. second homer of the night. Loggers win it 11-7. Good way to end. Thanks for joining us tonight. We'll see you tomorrow.